Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon and thanks for watching News 8 Now at Noon. I'm Alexandra Carter. Key evidence in a lacrosse reckless homicide case is no longer admissible in court. That ruling handed down by a judge today in the case against 48-year-old Bernard Moore. He's charged with first-degree reckless homicide and delivering drugs. Moore has been under investigation since October 2021. In August of last year, investigators searched his home, saying they had reasonable suspicion to do so because he was on probation or extended supervision. However, the search was of a condo Moore had recently moved into. The judge ruled the grounds for reasonable suspicion do not apply since it was not Moore's residence at the time of the alleged crime. Now, the evidence found in the search, mostly contraband, can't be used at trial. Eau Claire residents beware, or should we say bear aware? You're being asked to keep your eyes out for a wild bear in the area. According to a Facebook post by the city, a migrating bear has been spotted near the well site behind the water plant off of Riverview Drive. The city is asking everyone to stay alert if you go to any parks or trails with wooded areas. Keep your pets on a leash. Since the bear is getting ready to hibernate, the Wisconsin DR DNR says it should be left alone. If you see the bear, do not approach approach it. If you see it acting in a destructive or aggressive way, you can call the USDA to report it. We'll have that phone number on our website for you, news8000.com. Well, it serves a very cold start here this afternoon. In fact, we're running about 20 to 30 degrees colder than just yesterday afternoon. That's all thanks to a cold front that moved through last night to help drop down these temperatures quite substantially. And you can see right now we are uh, looking at temperatures at 41 in La Crosse and much colder up in Eau Claire. You're currently at 38. Winona's at 39. Sparta's also at 39. Black River Falls at 41. Baroqua at 39. It's a little bit warmer down in Prairie du Chien at 44. Bosque Bell's at 46. Nice view there from City Cam 8 in downtown La Crosse, uh, seeing a little bit of some high level clouds there on the top of your screen. But other than that, conditions are looking quiet and mostly sunny, which will continue through the day today as well, along with a much colder afternoon as far as our temperatures go, with highs mainly into the 40s and a very light wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. I'll have a check on your full weather forecast in a few minutes, and we'll talk about what, what's to come here this weekend and also a sneak peek of what next week will look like as well. Back to you, Alexandra. All right, Derek, thank you. Violence in Gaza could be expanding as Israel says its offensive against Hamas may move south where most Palestinians have taken refuge. As the hunt for hostages goes on, families and supporters are demanding Israeli officials do whatever it takes to get them home. Friday prayers echo across a region reeling from war. Israel's defense minister says the next stage of battle has begun, signaling Israel's offensive in the northern Gaza Strip may move south. That's where Palestinian mother Holu Jarbu is taking refuge and struggling to buy warm clothes for her kids as winter approaches. The war-shattered streets of northern Gaza are empty, and Israel defense forces say they're making progress dismantling Hamas. The IDF showed what it says are Islamic Jihad rockets found at a militant base. And this is what Hamas is trying to hide from you. Israeli troops displayed weapons they say were found at the Al-Shifa hospital complex, which Israel and the U.S. believe Hamas used as a command center. RPGs, AK-47s, we see handcuffs. Other hospitals in Gaza are barely functioning, floors filled with patients, many very young. These are innocent children, this Palestinian man says. They're targeting children who didn't do anything wrong. While in the Israeli city of Modi'in, a heartbroken mother buries her 19-year-old daughter, IDF soldier Noah Marciano, who was found dead in Gaza this week alongside another hostage. As protests go on, Israel's government says it's closer than ever before on a possible deal to bring other captives home. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. The World Health Organization is calling for a regular flow of patients to be allowed out of Gaza for treatment in Egypt to relieve the pressure on overwhelmed hospitals.
Back in the U.S., the federal government is staying open. The White House announcing President Biden signed the temporary spending bill. The bipartisan plan is the result of intense bargaining in the Senate and House. The bill provides tiered funding through January 19th and February 2nd. While this temporary deal buys more time, without a new agreement, the shutdown clock could restart in the new year. A lawsuit challenging Wisconsin's district maps is heading to the state Supreme Court. That case brought by Democratic voters who argue the Republican drawn maps are unconstitutional. They want the court to order new maps to be drawn. In 2021, Republican leaders admitted the maps were gerrymandered to benefit their party. The liberal majority court will hear arguments next week. If the court sides with the plaintiffs, all Wisconsin lawmakers could face election in 2024 under new district boundaries. In a rare showing of bipartisanship, Wisconsin Democratic Governor Tony Evers and Republican Assembly Speaker Robin Voss are working across the aisle to oppose a lawsuit trying to end the state's school voucher program. The lawsuit argues the voucher system unconstitutionally defunds public schools. Despite past criticism, Evers now supports the program after approving increased funding this summer. Governor e Evers agreed to higher voucher spending as part of a deal to provide more shared revenue to local governments. La Crosse's International Friendship Gardens may have a new addition. The gardens celebrate La Crosse's sister city relationships around the world by featuring plants native to those areas. Now the organizers are hoping to create an indigenous garden. It'll go in the plot next to the Cameroon Garden and will include a statue of Betsy Thunder, a traditional Ho-Chunk healer. The La Crosse Board of Park Commissioners has approved the garden concept. The board will vote again in January to give final approval. Spence Elementary students are getting schooled in life-saving skills. Seniors from the La Crosse Health Science Academy came over to teach the fifth graders first aid and CPR. The kids learned the basics of adult CPR, choking, and how to use an AED. They also learned the difference between CPR on an adult and on a small child. One instructor says it's never too early to learn CPR. The more people, whether you're a fifth grader or an adult, the more people exposed to and have an opportunity to practice these skills, um, the greater chance of being able to potentially save someone's life. Voigt says she hopes to bring her students to more area schools in the future. The annual Children's Miracle Network Radiothon fundraiser brought in close to $128,000 this year. The 48-hour broadcast helps raise money for Children's Miracle Network to support thousands of families here in the Cooley region. The funds cover transportation, food costs, and medical equipment for families with sick children. CMN says the money raised will go directly to helping those families in need. One parent says she was stunned by the generous community support shown through this year's Radiothon donations. I don't even know what the words are for that. It's just absolutely amazing. But you forget how exciting or how wonderful the world is sometimes, and this makes you have a little hope. Kinnenberg's son, Charlie, was born with a condition where cartilage or bone blocks the back of an infant's nasal cavity, making it difficult to breathe. If you miss Radiothon but still want to help, you can donate on the Children's Miracle Network website. Coming up on News 8 Now at Noon, Hyundai is partnering with a popular online retail giant. What the new relationship means for car sales in the future after the break. Ma, ma, ma. <clears throat> for fast sore throat relief, try Vicks Vapor Cool Drops. With two times more menthol per drop and powerful Vicks Vapors to vaporize sore throat pain. Vicks Vapor Cool Drops, vaporize sore throat pain. On your period, sudden gushes happen. Say goodbye gush fears, thanks to Always Ultra Thins with rapid dry technology that absorbs two times faster. Hello, clean and comfortable. Always fear no gush. I'm a martial artist, a skydiver, a pilot, and all of them require your feet to work. Get up in the morning and it felt like I was standing on marbles on my heel. When I went into the Good Feet store, the fitting was personalized. It was all about me. You put in the art supports and your day becomes better and the sun shines, the unicorns run by and, you know, it's a good life. 
I'm Randy, and that's my Good Feet story. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet store. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. The 59th Annual Holiday Fair takes place November 16th through the 19th at the La Crosse Center. The Holiday Fair is for children of all ages with special guest appearances by Rudolph and Santa. Door prizes will be given away every hour. Join us for Music in the Marsh, a concert to benefit the Nature Place, featuring the music of Tom Chapin, Thursday, November 16th at the Nature Place, Myrick Park. For more information on these events, or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Well, that was too close. If we keep waiting, it'll get one of us. I know these things can be a real hazard, but groundwater does this to concrete all the time. Water did this. Mm-hmm. But it's okay. You can lift it back up. Well, let's get lifting. Let's do it. The effects of water can be surprising, but at Innovative Basement Authority, we'll do a complete home inspection for free so you can put water back in its place. Schedule a free home inspection today. The gift of relaxation and pampering is the perfect gift to give this holiday season. It is the Sue Colvies experience, the gift your special someone is really hoping for, and the gift she really deserves. Order your gift cards online today at suecolvies.com or pick them up at Sue Colvies Salon and Day Spa because she deserves the very best. We buy all kinds of things on Amazon, but have you ever considered adding a car to your cart? That will soon be a reality thanks to a new partnership between Hyundai and Amazon. Next year, consumers will be able to search for their preferred car, make the purchase, and then pick it up at a local dealership, or of course, have it delivered. That's a big box. In 2025, new Hyundai vehicles will also come with Amazon's virtual assistant, Alexa, built in. The United Auto Workers have voted to ratify a new five-year contract with Mack Trucks, bringing a month-long strike to an end. The new deal includes a 36% wage increase. Meanwhile, General Motors may have been the last of the big three U.S. automakers to reach an agreement with the UAW on a new contract, but it's the first to get their deal ratified. The vote was closer than expected, with just over 54% of members voting in favor of it. Good news for coffee lovers, you can now get the iconic flavor of an Eggo waffle in your morning cup of joe. Eggo and Coffee Mate have collaborated on a new maple syrup coffee creamer that features flavors of toasted waffles, maple syrup, and warm butter. Prices may vary by retailer. That does it for your afternoon consumer news. As we head to break, here's a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. Big, beautiful sectional for just $9.99 with a free ottoman. Big deals. Black Friday deals. All month long. Up to 60% off list. Only at Slumberland. But don't wait, because deals this great won't last. Only at Slumberland Furniture. The Treehouse. Treasures from the heart. The Treehouse gift in home on Alaska. Escape, relax, browse in our 10,000 square foot gift shop. Shop thousands of gift ideas and allow our trusted professionals to help you breathe new decorative life into your favorite holiday spaces. Come make shopping local a family tradition and spin the new prize wheel during our anniversary sale Thursday through Saturday, November 16th through the 18th. May God bless you and your family this holiday season. Here at the Wine Sitters Brew House, we're your one stop destination for all things wine and beer making. We have everything you need to create your masterpiece in beer making and wine and cider making. Wine Sitters has everything for the process, start to finish. We also have books, gifts, and our own line of wines for you or the vintner in your life. Wine Sitters also hosts social events, and our Make Me Wine classes are back in session, where you can enjoy a glass and make your own batch with the experts, complete with bottling and labeling. Whether you're looking to start your brewing journey or a seasoned vintner, come visit the Wine Sitters online or in store today. Get a and a Sealy Posturepedic mattress, both for just $6.99. It's the Black Friday mattress sale at Slumberland. Up to 60% off list, a Sealy mattress and a power base. I hear those help reduce snoring. Only at Slumberland.
Welcome back. Researchers at MIT are developing a new ultrasound patch that can measure how full your bladder is. They say the patch can help patients with bladder or kidney issues more easily track whether these organs are functioning properly. The new technology can image organs in the body without an ultrasound operator or need for a gel. Developers say such devices could potentially lead to earlier detection of cancers that form deep within the body, like ovarian cancer. New research published by the American Psychological Association finds high levels of maternal stress are linked to behavioral problems for some children. The study found psychological distress during pregnancy raised the risk for aggressive and impulsive behaviors for offspring during childhood and teen years. Doctors say this finding highlights the need for more accessible mental health care and support for pregnant women. A new report from the CDC and World Health Organization shows measles cases and deaths have risen significantly since 2021. Doctors say the increases are not unexpected because vaccination rates for the measles have been dropping. They hope this report will motivate more people to get the measles vaccine. That does it for our medical news today. Here's a live look at CityCam 8. Derek is up next with our forecast. Earn a 40 cent high V fuel saver for every $60 you spend. That's right, a 40 cent fuel saver for every $60. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, only at High V. We've got you. It's a pledge to make sure you're always taken care of. A pledge that your Touchstone Energy Cooperative honors each and every day. When it comes to keeping things running smoothly or getting them back on track when they're not, we've got you. Always. Touchstone Energy Cooperatives, your source for power and information. Head & Shoulders is launching something huge. The bare minimum. Anti-dandruff shampoo made with only nine ingredients, no sulfate, silicones, or dyes, and packaged with 45% less plastic, giving you outstanding dandruff protection and leaving hair beautiful and moisturized. Major dandruff protection, minimal ingredients. Job done. New Head & Shoulders Bear. Menard's 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Upgrade your home with new flooring. We carry durable laminate flooring, easy-to-install sheet vinyl, and waterproof vinyl plank. Tarkat Harbor Village Sheet Vinyl is just 84 cents a square foot after rebate. Add style and luxury to your bathroom with Max. The Sirene Shower is the perfect stylish solution for any bathroom. Get it for $596.29 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. hy -Fi hot deals are hotter than hot. Six-pack Pepsi products, $2.99 each when you buy four. Lay's kettle-cooked rolled gold or munchies, $1.99 each when you buy three. And fresh ground beef, $2.99 for a one-pound roll, only at hy -Vee. Attention seniors, be safe with your affordable tub-to-shower conversion or enjoy an all-new bathroom. Contact the Board Store Home Improvements today for a prompt free estimate. High quality at lower prices. The 8000 Plus app, stream on your time. Well, we're looking at mostly sunny skies, as you can see behind me from City Cam 8 in downtown La Crosse, and we're going to be looking at this continuing throughout the day. 41 degrees is our current temperature with winds out of the westerly direction at 5 miles an hour. If we take a live look at Eau Claire, it's a little bit colder here. Temperatures are at 38 degrees with a few passing clouds and winds are looking nice and calm. Visibility running good at 10 miles for your lunch commute. 24-hour uh, temperature difference. Yeah, we'll notice it's about anywhere between 20 to 30 degrees of a cooler difference. And that is all thanks to a cold front that moved through yesterday to bring us what is a still a very cold afternoon here in store with current temperatures into the 30s and 40s. We got 39 now in Sparta, 41 the temperature in Winona. Black River Falls, you're at 41. Same in Viroqua and Boscobel, you're at 46 degrees at this hour. Day planner showing that we got uh, mainly clear skies all throughout the day today. We'll be at 46 degrees at 3, 40 degrees at 5 o'clock and we're dropping down our temperatures to 37 by early on this evening. With our forecast highs today expected to reach the 40s, 43 today in Eau Claire and a high of 46 degrees this afternoon in La Crosse, 45 
in Winona. And just a few passing clouds, but other than that, uh, again, skies are just looking mainly clear as high pressure settles into the area to give us a, ma a mainly clear day. And also a pretty clear night is in store here for us to work with as well. We're going to keep the su we're going to keep the skies uh, rather sunny as we head into the day tomorrow with clear skies in the forecast as we head into tomorrow as we head into early Sunday and conditions will continue to remain mainly sunny and clear as you take you through the rest of your day on Sunday with the exception of maybe some increasing clouds moving in as we head into Sunday evening and that is from a storm system taking shape down to our south spreading some moisture across the Cooley region which could give us a mainly cloudy week here ahead for next week including Thanksgiving Day. We may even see some showers in the forecast as we head into Monday, so something we'll be monitoring closely over the coming days. But look at those temperatures. We're going to drop them down here once again. After a brief warm up this weekend with highs in the 50s, you'll notice that our highs will drop to the 40s again heading into Monday and Tuesday. And then even colder than that as highs drop into the upper 20s to low 30s Wednesday through Friday of next week, again under mainly cloudy conditions. And our low temperatures also tumbling down here as well. So get ready. It feels like winter is <laughs> knocking on the door here already. Yes, very yeah. suddenly it feels like because it's been so warm. Yeah, we're kind of having to pay for it now after <laughs> yeah. a relatively last several days of seeing highs in the 60s. You know? Yeah, we had a feeling that was coming, huh? Yeah, it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Derek. When we come back, a lacrosse man's fundraiser is helping local nonprofits. Where the funds from Al's Musky Challenge are going when we return. Window World is here to help. We're making it easy with special financing options and convenient monthly payments. Increase your curb appeal with energy efficient products that have earned the good housekeeping seal. Window World, America's exterior remodeler. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Get your morning started right. She says my boyfriend can't stand that I listen to the show. He would rather I spend time with him. That's crazy. Oh, just dump him. What do you call a pig that does karate? What? A pork chop. Of course you do. <laughs> yes! A woman donated a kidney to a complete stranger all because of a Facebook post. You're going to walk away feeling better than you did before. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kicks 106.3. Hi, my name is Damian Clark. If you have both Medicare and Medicaid, I have some really encouraging news that you'll definitely want to hear. Depending on the plans available in your area, you may be eligible to get extra benefits with the Humana Medicare Advantage Dual Eligible Special Needs Plan. All these plans include a healthy options allowance, a monthly allowance to help pay for eligible groceries, utilities, rent, and over-the-counter items. The Healthy Options Allowance is loaded onto a prepaid card each month, and whatever you don't spend carries over from each month. Other benefits on these plans include free rides to and from your medical appointments, and our large networks of doctors, hospitals, and pharmacies. So call the number on your screen now and ask about a Humana Medicare Advantage dual eligible special needs plan. Humana, a more human way to healthcare. are extensions of who we are. New beginnings, first steps, moments lasting in time. We'll be there. Window World, America's exterior remodeler. Improving homes, changing lives. Download the News 8000 app today. You're watching News 8 now. Expect more. A popular annual fishing event is making waves for local kids. The proceeds from this year's Al's Muskie Challenge have been donated to area organizations. Since 2019, Al Lewis has used his fishing trip up north as a fundraiser. Community members pledge money for each muskie caught or make one-time donations. All the proceeds raised are sp split between Cooley Region groups that benefit children. We want to support the youth of the Cooley Region. Different groups that need help, uh, different nonprofits that are doing things, good, good things in our community uh, to help our youth. $120,000 was raised this year and donated to the Lacrosse Public Education Foundation, Hope Restores, and the Good Fight Community Center. The Lacrosse Community Foundation will use $60,000 of the funds to create an Al's Muskie Challenge Endowment Fund. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we come back.
Get ready to save some money because it's still going on. The King Furniture Total Renovation Sale with hundreds of recliners, motion furniture, bedroom furniture, and more. Do not miss the King Furniture Total Renovation Sale. My frequent heartburn had me taking antacid after antacid all day long. But with Prilosec OTC, just one pill a day blocks heartburn for a full 24 hours. For one and done heartburn relief, Prilosec OTC, one pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. Vicks Stick provides soothing, non-medicated Vicks Vapors. Easy to apply for the whole family. Vicks Stick and try Vapo Shower for steamy Vicks Vapors. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. We know every life well lived is a journey. And we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need. Because they're a part of them. Because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Hmm, Thanksgiving. You want something extra special for Thanksgiving, right? Yes. We have chocolate turkeys, turkey truffles, and fresh roasted nuts. Oh, perfect. I wonder if they have advent calendars. Here we have a great selection of advent calendars. Great, I always get one for the girls. Don't forget, gold coins for St. Nicholas Day. Wow, you're so good. Well, it's kind of easy when your thoughts are... Fanati's Nut and Chocolate Shop in downtown La Crosse. Get ready to save some money because it's still going on. The King Furniture Total Renovation Sale with hundreds of recliners, motion furniture, bedroom furniture, and more. Do not miss the King Furniture Total Renovation Sale. News 8, your home for Super Bowl 58. Mostly sunny conditions today with that high of 46 degrees, but heading into the weekend, it's going to get a bit warmer. Highs will be into the mid-50s under a few clouds, and then we're going to drop our highs down big time next week. Once again, looking at a chance of showers on Monday with a high of 47. Otherwise, much of next week will be mainly cloudy with highs dropping into the 20s by Wednesday. That does include Thanksgiving Day as well, so get ready for what will be a pretty cold Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. You might maybe even keep your turkey outside and froze. Right, <laughs> keep yeah. it in the freezer outside, <laughs> natural freezer. Maybe. Probably not that cold. No but need yeah. for a freezer. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a cold one. Well, all right, we showed you something to warm your tummy a little bit. We showed you earlier in our newscast, Coffee Made is coming out with an Eggo waffle flavored mm. coffee creamer. So Derek, would you try this? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I have a feeling it would no. just taste like syrup, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's just way too much uh, sugar for me when it comes to that. Every time I I'm try to go buy coffee creamer, yeah. yeah. So many, so many options. Exactly. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us at noon. We will see you back here tonight. Have a great day.